a car is taking a turn along a highway curve that has a radius of 50 meters. The road is banked at 10 degrees relative to the horizontal, and since the highway curve is wet and icy, the coefficient of friction between the car tires and the asphalt is approximately zero. We want to find the speed at which the car should travel so that it makes the turn without slipping. So here I've drawn a diagram of the car making the turn on a highway curve with the box representing the car. And let's go ahead and draw a force diagram for this car. This will represent the car and it will have a gravitational force and a normal force pointing diagonal. Notice it's not straight upwards because the road is banked 10 degrees and this banking of degrees shows as this angle. And we know that the sum of the forces will give us centripetal force, which is pointing to the center of the highway curve, purely in the x direction. So now that we have the force diagram, let's go ahead and write some force equations to find the velocity that the car should travel at. So to do this, let's go ahead and start with the force equation in the y direction. In the y direction, we have fg must equal to fn in the y direction because they are in opposite directions and will need to cancel out so that the car does not move in the y direction. So fg can be rewritten as mg, and ny can be rewritten as fn times cosine theta. Notice it's cosine, not sine, because the we're given is this one. And solving for fn, you get mg cosine theta. Now use this fn and plug it into the force in the x direction, which will be the sum of the forces in the x direction is equal to centripetal force. And the only force in the x direction is the x component of normal force. That's equal to the force. And x can be rewritten as fn sine of the equals this force. We can fn here, like I mentioned before, to give us mg cosine over cosine times sine theta will be equal to mv squared over r. Now looking for v, we get square root of g r times sine theta divided by cosine theta. And if we solve all these quantities in the later, will get 9.3 meters per second. The car must travel exactly at 9 meters per second because any faster, it'll slip off the road, and any slower, it'll slip closer to the center of the highway curve.